All right, chip of the day. Almost everybody likes chip of the day. Um, so we have today an 89833. Now I've done a bunch of single chip um, waveform generators. Um, the XR chips and a Maxim chip, a bunch of, that I blew up, uh, a bunch of different chips that do waveform generation. So we're gonna step up to more, a more modern part. Um, so the only downside of this chip is that you actually have to uh, program it. You actually have to have a microcontroller send data to it and set all the control registers and stuff. But it is a pretty nice little chip. Let's see here, let me. My zoom down, yeah, I guess I'm zoomed down all the way. Hopefully you can read that. Uh, it's up to 12.5 megahertz, 28-bit um, resolution, 2.3 to 5.5 power supply, that's nice. It's an SPI interface. Um, so anyway, yeah, what does it do? Well, it gives out waveforms, right? <laughs> and uh, it has, um, Some of the chips output a triangle wave and they put it through a shaper filter to try to simulate a sine wave. Whereas this actually has actually what's called uh, direct digital synthesis. It has the, the actual sine wave digitized in a ROM. And so it, 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 it's a 12 bit, uh, looks like it's a 12 bit ROM. And so the sine wave is digitized at, at 12 bit intervals and uh, that's how the uh, that's how its output. So it's a much better a much better sine wave. Uh, then there's a 10-bit deck out. Yeah, let's uh, let's hook it up. Okay, so if you buy one of these, they're available on these little development cards. Uh, super cheap. I mean, they're super cheap um, on eBay or, or other places and stuff. So um, there's a little oscillator and then the chip and uh, you get a little header. Uh, I'll give you a tip about the header. Um, I usually put the header on so I can stick it into a proto board. And so I did that on this one. I stick, stuck it on and, and I always think about having the components in, in the up direction, right? Um, but in this one, I would actually load it the other way around so you can read all the labeling, all the labeling's on the back side, okay? And so that's what I've done on my board. I have it upside down. And so the little chip down here, I can actually read what pins are what. So it needs a microcontroller. So I'm using this Nano that has a OLED display on it. And uh, I have a couple of push buttons here to control it with. And let's hook it up and see what it does. All right, so I've powered it up here and uh, there are two buttons, okay? And this button will control the mode, whether it's a square wave or a sine wave or a triangle wave. And this one will control the frequency, all right? So let's see what kind of waveform we get out on it. And when it powers up, it gives me a, it gives me a sine wave, all right? And I can push the frequency button and I can, I can, increase, the, uh, I can increase the frequency of the sine wave, all right? Um, now, one of the oddities about this chip is when you change modes, okay, this is the mode button here. So, so square wave, sine wave, square wave, and triangle wave, okay? And so the triangle wave and the uh, sine wave are the same amplitude, okay? which is, what is the same amplitude? Uh, let's see here, I've got a times 10 probe. Uh, it's 0.7 volts, something like that. Okay, about 0.7 volts peak to peak. Um, and if you change it to square wave mode, it goes off the top. Yeah, let me bring it down. So. Uh, here it's five volts up and down. Okay, so the square wave is is up to up to the VCC up to five volts, and then if you go to the sine wave, it's it's the little guy right down there. So simple little program. Uh, there is a um, then the reason it's simple is because there is a device library 
in the Arduino uh, development system where uh, somebody has developed. It's actually a couple of them. I used one of them. Um, and I will go ahead and uh, put the code in the description. It's not very long, so I'll just snip it and I'll stick it in the uh, stick it in the description for you guys to uh, cut and paste. All right, so there you go. That was today's chip of the day, which is an AD nine eight three three.